my guest is coming Ek. oh my gosh he's from india what a powerful place to live and what a powerful person to have here with me today uh, so today i have we're gonna talk about life mastery and we're gonna do it with Bishal Sarkar. And I hope I pronounce it well. Bishal, welcome so much. Thank you for being here with me. Please, uh, yeah, I I'm honored to have you here. He is a speaker, he is a life mastery coach, trainer, and also author. Bishal, <clears throat> let's just go into dive deep and Tell us what was your story to life mastery, who you are, how do you impact this world? Thank you so much. First of all, I, I really appreciate the opportunity to speak with you today. I've been, we've been uh, you know, connected on social media for quite a few months. I love it. I love your story. You know, I have seen that, you know, you help ordinary people achieve extraordinary dreams. And, and I'm one of those ordinary peoples in the past that, um, that that was looking for somebody like you or me or you know a mentor figure in life to get to the next level and um, you know what most people know about me Biata is I'm a professional speaker I've written I love public speaking my coaching practices are full I run India's you know the the largest public speaking conference called the rock your speaking inner circle and also basically I train you know CEOs vice presidents and stuff people like that to how they can speak like Fortune 500 business leaders. Now that's something that people who already follow me know about me. Let me tell you something that people don't know about me. I was born and brought up in a middle-class family. Um, 150 square feet railway quarters. My father was a railway, um, you know, worker, railway employee uh, for Indian Railways, you know, the train thingy. And um, so we lived in a 150 square feet broken quarter it was always very smelly from the wash, you know, from the bathroom. The bathroom doors were not proper. So that's the place I came from. I studied in a, you know, English is not my first language. English is not my second language. English is my third language. So I studied in a Bengali medium government school where my parents paid 289 rupees just for the clarity of everybody. That's less than $5 per year for my school tuition fee. So that's where I came from. So growing up, I had stuttering, I had low self-image. People used to make fun of me. And I and I don't say that to, to connect with people. That's really something that happened to me. And for many years, I have been bullied by a school teacher, not the students, as teacher for four years. And Beata, for four years, I just prayed to God one thing, get me out of this school. Not because I hated the school, I love the school. It's It's something that I cherish and embrace in my heart. But that one teacher, you know, really his his negative influence. And he used to call me names, he used to abuse me in front of everybody, he used to make fun of me. And that shattered my self-confidence between the age of, you know, 14 to 18 for four, four years. So, you know, long story short, I, I went to college, I, you know, got into jobs. And then later on, I found out um, this, this desire to improve my communication. You know, many years later on, you know, I was telling you before before the show that, you know, you, you are, uh, you know, you're a student of Les Brown, so I'll, I'll tell you a quick story about that. Uh, um, so I uh, later on, you know, I became a speaker. I started, you know, investing in myself, learning the skills from amazing, you know, people who, because I feel, you know, teachers are not the teachers who are just in school. The, the real teachers, I, I believe there are three teachers, you know, I believe there are three teachers. I believe the first teacher is an empty pocket. You, you get to learn a lot. Empty pocket. Second is a hard break. Not always a romantic relationship, heartbreak, but somebody breaks your heart. It can be a mother, a father, a son. Somebody says something, it breaks your heart. And third is somebody who has been through the number one and number two. Somebody who has had empty pocket and heart, you know, breaking, does not have it anymore. That can be a second, third, you know, third mentor for you. So as I started learning from different mentors and one of them online, I started, you know, Tony Robbins, you know, Les Brown, started, you got to be hungry, right? So I started <laughs> listening to their audios. Yeah, every morning waking up, listening to them, feeling pumped up and, you know, I started my business 13 years ago and it has been going very well. And, and in 2013, I remember this day, one of the best days of my life. Back then, my own personal number, Beata, was on my website. Right now, I have a team that manages all that, right? So my personal number was on the phone. People could directly call me and I, I get a call and I pick it up. Hello? And um, the lady on the other side, it's... It, it, it was a land phone number. She said, yeah. my name is so-and-so, I forgot her name, from ITC Bangalore, that's a, that's a hotel company. 
I said, okay, am I speaking to Mr. Vishal? Yes. And I was like having dinner at that time. Like I was going for the dinner and every single night I had a ritual at that time before going for dinner. I still listened to some kind of an educational material. That night it was Les Brown. I was watching his video uh, on power of commitment or something like that. There was a YouTube video. I get the call, okay. I pick up and the lady says, Mr. Brown wants to speak with you. My first question is, which Brown? I have no idea, right? I have no context what she's talking about. Right. right. So I'm like, which Brown? Right. Which Brown? She said, Les Brown. Now, for I don't know if you ever have that feeling, Biara, for a second, I'm like, I'm watching the video. Is this a fun? Like, like my right. body became, I could feel the, you know, heat in the oh, shoulder. Like, what is it happening? <laughs> And I said, is that the speaker Les Brown are you talking about? She said, yeah, yeah, one moment, let me transfer the call. And there was this, you know, she transferred the call and there's na, 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 music. I'm like, what do I do? I'm getting like this whole body is, I'm getting chills. And she's, and, and I hear the sound. Hey, is that Bishal Sarkar? This is Mamie, ba Mamie Brown's baby boy, Les Brown. Yeah. I could die in that moment. I was like, oh, Mr. Brown, I've been a big fan. I, I've learned so much from you, from your products. I've invested in different things. And he said, I'm in India. I came two days ago, I went to YouTube, I went to Google to type out who's the best public speaking coach in Bangalore. By the way, I subscribe to your email newsletter, your writing. Wow. Consistent. Bishal. Bishal. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. We, we are uh, like your your voice is breaking. I think that they maybe perfectly be fine. You gotta be hungry and come back. You can hear me now, per Yes, perfect. I can hear you. I can hear yeah. you back. So, so you know, long story. I was talking to Mr. Brown, and before I knew anything, he said that he has been subscribing to my email newsletter two days before, and he said this line after that 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 was very so so humbling for me. He said, "Do you have a pen and paper?" I said, "Sure." He said, "Write down my cell phone number. Let's stay in touch." Oh I still have his phone number on, on, on my phone here. I've, I've called him a few times. The, 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 the message I want to give is somebody in a 150 square feet railway colony who lived there, who has been bullied in school, who had no history in public speaking. If that person can be consistent and move forward, I feel anybody with the power of consistency receive. Uh, you know, greater, greater respect, which is turning your mentors into your colleagues and friends. And and that's what I'm about. I'm, I'm not a special guy. I'm not, I have nothing special. I've just been following the process of being a good student in life and then teaching to other people uh, with my skills. And, and that's my story. So that's my story. And as Les Brown says, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much for sharing that story. It's powerful. It's beautiful. And oh, my gosh. So this this boy that was bullied and how many of you out there feel like you are bullied you are not accepted maybe you are you feel not that you belong you don't belong that you are less and look at Vishal today so Vishal you have to share the secret to the life master because you did it you did it personally so what who yeah What's someone who is watching and listening us right now or will be listening on the replay can actually do today 